Hello there. Jean asked a very good question in a comment about 10 days ago and she was asking about the Maven app and the geofence feature of the Maven app in particular and Jean wanted to know do you have to start off with the DJI Fly app to get up in the air before you can use the Maven geofence? Well, the short answer, Jean, is no. You can do everything with Maven without touching the, G <laughs> the DJI app Fly app. But it got me thinking, what would happen if you created a geofence with Maven, flew up with Maven, and then switched over to DJI Fly app? Would the geofence still be operative, allowing you to use the DJI app interface to fly around, but still be within the geofence that you've created in Maven? I don't know the answer, and I'm going to find out right now. So, here's how you set up a geofence in Maven. It's very simple. All you need is your device. You don't even need to be connected. You don't even need to have your drone turned on or your controller turned on to create the geofence. As long as your device is connected to GPS you can do, you, and you've got access to maps, all you do is open up the Maven app. Now it's telling you not connected, which is fine. So you click on the geofence and then you're going to create a new VPG. When you do that, it will zoom in close to the area that you're in at the moment and then you can zoom in a little bit more. Now I know that I'm standing on this little bridge right here. And I'm going to create a geofence that's going to not allow me to fly beyond the railway line or past a couple of the hedges in one of the fields. So to create your geofences, you press and hold down on the map and that'll create your first point. And then press, press, <laughs> press and hold down again on the second point then find your third point, wherever you want that to be. I'll say halfway up the field on this side of the hedge. And then my final one's going to be halfway up the, 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 the field on this side of the other hedge. So that's my geofence created just there. Now I can save it. And that's my geofence right there. So all I have to do now is connect up my drone and my controller and launch that geofence and I'll show you what happens when you're flying within a geofence. So, connect up your device to your controller, like so, for those of you that used to watch Blue Peter. I'll probably speed this up in the video, or maybe not. Some people, for some strange reason, like to hear me speak because they like my accent. This is a a southwestern Scots accent you're listening to, it, an Ayrshire accent in particular, if you're interested. So now that we have that connected up, we're, I'm going to switch on my controller. I have my faithful DJI Mini 2 Lassie here, and I'm going to power her up too. My eyes are not doing too great today. Everything's a wee bit blurry. But I'm going to fly anyway. <laughs> so, I'm going to set Lassie down just now on a post just over here and I'm going to fire up the Maven app tap to start it says so I'll tap to start and now if you cl click on the three dots and pick the geofence and the geofence I just created is here it's telling me home point not recorded yet that's okay that's because the drone hasn't been connected but it's connected now so i'm going to launch the home point has now been updated there you go so let's launch take off the home point has been updated please check it on the map so lassie is now flying in the area of the geofence so Let's turn on the geofence. And there we are. You can see this. I'll, I'll bring this box up. So you can see that this is the geofence area that I just created. Oh, hello. Get away with that. This is the geofence area that I've just created. And Lassie is now happily flying right within it. And when I take her to the edge of the geofence, which is before the hedge there, you'll see on the screen, 
that as she approaches it, she's slowing down. You see her speed start to slow down. And she won't actually cross over that area. No matter how ha hard I push forward, she won't do it. And the same will happen if I bring her back and I try to bring her, try to push her down over the railway line there, which is just in front of me. Let me turn around a little bit and maybe you'll be able to see it. The railway line is just over there. If I try to push Lassie to cross over the railway line, you probably won't be able to see Lassie. She'll be too far away for the camera view, but she won't. She won't go beyond that, that geofence line. Okay, so she's within the she's within the parameters of the geofence and she won't go past it. Which is terrific. You can also set the height that she won't go above and the height that she won't go below if you want, but I haven't done that for this particular mission just to show you what happens if I switch over now to the DJI Fly app. This is for Jean. So let's flick over to the DJI Fly app. And what happens if I try to push Lassie forward? Well, nothing is happening. She's not taking any commands at all. She won't turn. She won't go up or down. No, nothing is happening at all. So, <clears throat> to fly within the geofence, I still have to... Alert! Virtual geofence disabled. Maven. But be wary, if you switch between the two, the geofence will disable and you have to enable the geofence again. So pick up the geofence, Lassie's well, still within it, it's now active, and she'll fly. And I can fly her again within the geofence area. So I'm going to bring her back using the geofence. Well, I'm not using the geofence, I'm just flying her back, but she will be back within the geofence area. Close to the edge, I'm right on the edge of the geofence. So I might have to turn it off to get her back to me. But we we'll see, I might be able to get her back to me. No, I'm gonna, she won't come back because I'm actually, I'm just slightly outside or on the very edge of the geofence. So what I'll do now is I'll just turn off the geofence and put her back into normal flying mode, which you can do with co pilot. That'll do. Oh, you have to know, you actually have to turn off the geofence. Virtual geofence so, disabled. Lassie will come back to you. So flying her with Maven just now, and now not with the geofence. Here she is. But what happens now? What would happen now if I switched over to the DJI Fly app? Would I have control? Let's see. Let's put the DJI Fly app up. And no, I don't have any control over Lassie at all. Because I'm, I started off with using Maven, I can't do anything in DJI Fly app. I'd have to switch on Maven off. So, I'll just land them now. Come on. That's it, be a good girl. <laughs> so Jean, I hope that answered your question. You can you don't need to use the DJI fly up at all if you want to use the geofence. All you have to do is create your geofence with Maven, launch and fly happily about your geofence. If you want to see how to create a waypoint mission using Maven, that video there should take you straight to it.